Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a little unboxing. Y'all know how we roll around here. Anyway, today I got this big old box in from Shop Carl's. And what I did was I uh, was on Shop Carl's the other day and I noticed that they were still doing their bargain bin sale. I don't know how long that thing's going to go on, but anyways but also i noticed they had these little tackle bundles that you could get and they had them marked down really cheap and uh so anyways i bought one of them it was called like a grab and go uh, hard bait kit and then i picked up a few extra little baits so this probably won't be a very long video but i don't know how many baits are in the box or whatever but anyways uh just want to say thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you can, hit that thumbs up, uh, comment, uh, share, you know. The channel's been growing really good last couple of weeks, and I want to keep it going. Uh, you know, uh, fishing is pretty much here, man. Like I said, I went out the other day. I didn't have no luck, but the weather wasn't the best, and... Uh, you know it is what it is and uh so anyways uh i plan on hitting it hard this year i plan on getting y'all some fishing content whether you know it be good good content of me catching fish or me not having a good day you know the truth is the truth is you know not everybody can go out and catch fish every day and that's just how fishing works sometimes so anyways, we got a bunch of this bubble wrap, and uh, we got this box in here, which I guess is the grab, grab and go box. We'll save that for last. So we'll just go through the other stuff first, uh, and see what we got here. Alright, so here's our little thing that we got. Oh, tells us everything that we bought. Uh, let's see what they call that. Grab and go hard bait kit. So that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Alright, so uh, first up, let's just start off the top. We got uh, the mouse head grass jig from Thunderhawk Lures. This is in a quarter ounce. And uh, the color is white chargers. And anyways, what makes this thing real neat, well, I'll take it out and show it to you. No reason to be stingy about it. You got the little head, it's in the shape like a mouse. You got your little recess eyes in there. Got good uh, line tie, and you know a pretty good uh, brush guard. It ain't uh, too stiff or anything. It's hand tied, and you got a single bait keeper. And uh, anyways, uh, they had these on there for like a dollar or something. So anyways, I picked up one. Uh, I've already got a few. Uh, I don't think I have this color. And uh, so that works out pretty well. Next up, we got some Castaic. Uh, I don't remember what they call these, but uh, Castaic Worms. Uh, Castaic Finesse CBT Stick Bait 5 inch. Of course it says assorted colors. This looks to be like some kind of motor oil color. Uh, anyways, I've got the Finesse version of these. Yeah, these ain't stretchy like the Finesse ones. I mean, it is pretty durable though. I will give it that, but the other ones were more like Elastic. I guess the small ones were Elastic and these are not. But anyways, it's got like a little 
fade tail on there and it's a bunch of ribbed on there but anyways i like the little ones so i figured these would be good on a shaky head or texas rigged got a bunch of scent to it my hands are all greasy uh it was all over the bottom of the box so they put a lot of scent in there next up uh I've gotten this company before, and anyways, I had them on sale. For, like I said, all this stuff was dirt cheap, and it was all, you know, pretty much mystery items. You didn't get to choose the color or anything, and so anyways, I took a chance and ordered some more of them because I really liked them, and uh, this time I got a different color, so I'm thankful for that. Uh, anyways, it's called Roadside Minnows, and... Uh, Anyways, this one's called Red Ice. It's uh, the Reaper Minnow. And uh, it's a 4 inch 8 pack. Red Ice is the color. And of course they had to seal it off like that. I hate when companies do that. See if I can get in here. Alright, we finally got in here after an hour of fighting with this. Uh, anyways, it seems to be scented really well, but this right here is a really cool color. I mean, it almost looks like a little shad that's like bleeding, you know, like the scales are getting all bloody. I mean, that is real, real neat, a real good color. I mean, that could be the trailer behind a lot of different baits. I mean, it is a fluke style bait. It's solid. It don't have a belly slot. So, uh, you could really use this in a lot of different ways a drop shot i mean you name it but anyways you got that little fork tail uh but yeah really nice bait uh glad to get that color i think the last ones i got were like green and black or green and blue or something so excited about that Uh, next up, we got some Euro Tackle Micro Finesse uh, EPF Swimmers. Uh, these are one inches long. Wow, these things really are Micro Finesse. I was not expecting them to be this small, but anyways, uh, they got some S pheromones in them, and uh, it's a nine pack. So this is going to be for your multi-species. Like I said, I was not expecting them to be this small. I mean, this is smaller than Z-Man. Uh, I can get one out of here. But anyways, here's this little guy. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, I know, I know there's little bitty jig heads out there for them, but... Uh, Anyways, there, there it is. I mean, there's not much to it. It's got a little boot tail. Uh, like I said, whenever you order, man, uh, they don't give you a size or anything like that. So you just kind of get what you get. But at the price that you pay for it, I mean, it's, it's really worth it. So, Anyways, like I said, you get nine of them in a pack. I can see those working really good for bluegill and crappie and stuff like that. Next up is another one from Euro Tackle. This is what I was kind of thinking. This is uh, the B Vibe Micro Finesse. This is a two inch eight pack pheromone, uh, S pheromone scented. Uh, this one is called Gold. The 
color is called gold. Uh, anyways, Euro Tackle is a, has become really big, especially for a lot of uh, like creek anglers and uh, pond pond fishermen and stuff. They've really made a big name for themselves. Uh, I forgot who it was, but there's one guy that I watched, and his name's Brandon something. But anyways, this is about all he ever uses. And he talks about Euro Tackle. I guess he's sponsored by them or something. But anyways, this is all he ever uses is little things like this. But he fishes a lot of creeks and stuff like that, so I understand that. And that's something that I kind of want to get into this year is maybe doing some, uh, you know, like uh, backwater river fishing and stuff, some of those smaller waters. Because we do have smallmouth around here, but they're usually back in the creeks of the rivers and stuff. And they're not very big. I think the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught weighed... Uh, two and a half pounds and uh, I'll take that back it was three and a half pounds and uh, that was the biggest one I caught and it was on the river uh, but you don't see them like that all the time and at the time I was young and I didn't even know that that was a big small mouth I think I was like eight years old when I caught it next up we have some Lucky John Pro Series these are called Tioga, I guess that's how you would say that. And uh, anyways, I like Lucky John. They make a lot of uh, like uh, shrimp. You know, they have that shrimp scented stuff uh, scent to it, and their baits seem to work really well. So. Uh, this one, Lime Chartreuse, it's 2.4 inches long, uh, it's a nine piece, and it says strong mackerel scent. Yum, yum. Yep, definitely smells like some kind of mackerel. I've never really smelt mackerel before, but. Anyway, it's pretty cool color. It's got a low boot tail. But anyways, it looks like they sent me all micro stuff this time. Which, is, like I said, I'm okay with. Uh, except for one. I think one was the big worms. And these right here I ordered myself. Uh, these are the Guggen uh, weighted uh, saucy hooks. They're a quarter ounce, uh, six sot, and I bought these so I could put them on the Beast Coast Miyagi. Uh, that's what it calls for, so we're going to try that out. I want to try the Miyagi Swimmers out this year, so I bought a pack of these. <clears throat> Alright, so last but not least is this box. Like I said, I got this box for $10.00. Uh, I think it, it said it was supposed to have five to six hard baits in it. So, you figure ten bucks, if these are even halfway decent named crankbaits or whatever, you paid for the box. Uh, so, we'll see. Let's see what we get in here. Alright, so I already see one that's already made the box worth it. First up, I really like this. I, I'm, I've become a big fan of these baits. These are the, the Carl's Amazing Bait, the Golden Boy. Dives uh, three to five feet. Uh, this one is called the Chartreuse Gill. It's two and a quarter inches long and weighs one third of an ounce. And I'm going to tell y'all, y'all guys, if y'all are a member of Shop Carl's, I'm telling you, go get you some of these and try them out. They're dirt cheap, but they work, and 
the hardware that comes on them is good so you don't have to change them out and for four dollars i can tell you right now this this bait right here is four dollars and some change if you're a member if you're not a member it's a little bit more but anyways look at that paint job uh so we're at four dollars and like i said uh i paid 10 bucks for it so we'll see if we make it so we got that next up uh, this right here is uh the Yozuri Rattle and Vibe, uh, two and one eighth inches long, weighs three eighths of an ounce. This color is matte Rayburn Red Crawfish, and this is really cool because I know this bait right here is seven to eight dollars. So seven to four, we've already made our money back on this box, and there looks like there's three or four more baits to go. That's really cool. So look at this. I mean, you can't go wrong with Yozo Yozori. You ain't ever fished with Yozori. I don't know what to tell you, but you need to get you some and try them out. Rattle. It's got a bunch of rattles in there. But anyways, that is really cool because I do not have that color. And I got a bunch of, uh, I don't have this size. This is smaller than the ones that I'm used to getting. So I really do like that. This is a smaller one. And that'll be perfect. So I'm excited. I, so there, right there is a seven, you might as well say a $7 bait. Maybe a little bit cheaper. <clears throat> but it ain't going to be much cheaper. I'd say at least six. So you're at ten dollars even, might as well say. Alright, next up we got another uh Carl's Amazing Baits. Not mad at it. This right here is the Shiver Crank. This one dives six to ten feet. It's uh two and a quarter inches long, weighs three tenths of an ounce, and this one is in moonlight shed. I'm not playing with y'all guys, man. Uh, y'all might think I'm kidding, but these Carl's Amazing Baits are good. If any of y'all have fished them, let me know what you think about them. Leave a comment in there, and you know, because I'm sure if you're a Carl's member, you bought them before, or you've gotten them before. But that right there is a sweet color. You got that chartreuse, that purple, that blue on the top, and then it's just clear on bottom. Has a pretty big lip on it. But like I said, this thing right here, get a little bait. I fished with it. And uh, it, run, it runs right around six to seven feet. And uh, works really well. So that's another $4 bait. So we're well above where we're supposed to be. All right, next up, we got a uh, Leventon's Lure uh, Pro Ripper. This one is a uh, 2.68 inches long, uh, slow sinking, uh, true brim color, and weighs half an ounce. And uh, it's got all that EBS and electronic stuff that goes on in there. Alright. So y'all know that Leventon lures are not cheap. They're out there probably a $9, 10 bait. You can't hardly get Leventon lures for under $10. I mean, I don't know what they think they're doing. I mean, don't get me wrong, they work. But uh, I don't think the fish sound or whatever has anything to do with it. I mean, it just, it works because it fishes like it's supposed to fish. Uh, or I could be wrong. Maybe the, they do hear the fish sound. I don't know. But you can see the big battery right here behind the eye. 
and uh, all the work that goes in there. It does have a little BBs in there. So anyways, you got that. And like I said, I'm not not I'm not knocking living in lures. I mean, I think it's pretty cool that they got that little sound in there. And you can actually touch the two uh, together and you can hear it. And I've actually got like a top water and it flashes. And uh, caught a couple of fish off of it. Next up, here's you another $7 bait. The uh, Guggen Scout Jr. This one is in uh, Silver Flash. It is uh, two and a half or three and a half inches long, weighs three eighths of an ounce, and dives three to five feet. <clears throat> Man, I can't believe I got all this for 10 bucks. And I guarantee you there's over $30 worth of baits in there. And this right here is probably my second, I don't know. I love their jerk baits. Their jerk baits work good for me. I've heard a lot of people say you know, negative things about them, but for me, I have not had no problems out of them. Uh, some people say they're built weak, and, but to me, they work just fine. Uh, I've never had no issues out of them. And that right there is just uh, a, a really nice color. Let me know if y'all fished the Junior Scouts, if y'all had any problems out of it. I know Neil Bone, I know you're going to say something, because uh, we've already talked about it, but uh, it, I want to know if any of you other guys have had any kind of issues with them, uh, but yeah, I like them, work good for me, now this one right here is going to be, oh I got a sticker, look at that, I got a sticker, Alright, so last but not least, this is really cool because I've actually got a couple of these and this is a color I do not have. This right here is the Bubonic Catchco and uh, it's uh, painted by Chris Grout and this one's called the Blue Bug. And anyways, these are real expensive. These are like $9.00. Uh, they used to be real cheap, and then all of a sudden they went up. I don't know why, but I bought some whenever they were real, real cheap, and then all of a sudden they jumped up like 9 or $10. And uh, don't get me wrong, they're real nice looking bait. This is a, a blue and black matte finish. And if I had to guess, this right here with the hooks and everything on it, this right here is a Guggen bait that has been, it's a Guggen blank that has been painted, if I had to guess, just by the hooks and everything and the way everything lines out, that's a Guggen bait. But anyway, really nice bait, I like it. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, it, it got real weird. I don't know why the price went up so high. But, yeah, they went from being, like, really reasonable with the prices. And they got quite a few colors you can choose from. And then all of a sudden, like I said, they jumped up to, like, 9 or 10 bucks. It, it was wild. But anyways, that's pretty cool. I can add that one to my collection. Uh, I did fish with uh, one of them and didn't have very much luck on it. So I might just keep it in the little box. I wish I would have done that with the other one. I might just kind of like hang these up. Because they are kind of cool that, you know, 
you know, hand, hand painted or whatever. But anyways, y'all, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got six baits for $10 in there. So, I don't know about y'all, but I thought that was a really, a really good deal. So, if y'all are on, if y'all are looking on Shop Carl's, y'all might want to run over there and grab that. It's the grab and go hard bait kit. I mean, even at twenty dollars, that would be a good deal. I mean, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty at minimum, you're getting thirty dollars back. So, even if you paid more than that, I would say it's well worth it. But that's in my opinion. Let me know what y'all think. Anyways, y'all, that's the end of the video. Uh, that's all the baits for now. I hope y'all enjoyed it, and let me know what y'all thought about this box. Uh, this grab and go kit thing uh but anyway thank y'all for watching and i will see y'all on the next one